Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and dad. And your boy, Stan Let's go ahead and start it off right. If you're not a family member, meaning that you haven't hit that subscribe button, why are you waiting? Just go ahead and do so. It don't, it don't cost, cost you a dime. We don't put you on Patreon. We don't in inundate you with a whole bunch of ads. You get one in the beginning and you get one at the end because we do this as a hobby, guy, don't it? So um, make sure your bell is pressed in and make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up because that gets us the recognition that we need deserve so that we can keep on flowing yeah. so you like hey i'm finally i'm getting this youtube thing down pat oh, now I'm to take, it took I me almost eat. to get the eight thousand got doing subscribers to I get it right it may take it take time to perfect a uh, good thing now yeah. yeah you gotta keep on putting in the work to grind to make it happen yeah, but uh, look, we're gonna we're gonna bust this out. We ain't gonna say real quick because you, 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 you don't even know we don't even beating it real quick. And when we be too short, y'all don't even be liking it though. Y'all be like, I really want to hear y'all ideas. We be trying to like just not you know give just you give you a, a teaser so you can come back next week. Y'all y'all be living for it though. Yeah, because I be looking at the analytics. Y'all be staying to the end. So Queen Sugar drums at dusk. So okay, when we first started off, I was a little bit confused. I said I thought that Charlie and Remy was gonna take things a little bit slow, but why is she at the bridal shop looking at wedding dresses? And then I forgot that got done quick. Yep. That doll and Ralph age, because for some reason in my mind, as Mike B would say, I would just think they was going to the justice of the peace or something like it. Maybe yeah. just because because I'm counting Ralph Angel's mm -hmm. coins and stuff. Like he ain't got no money, she ain't got no money. Yeah, cause she yeah. don't have a job. Well, yeah, she do. She work for Charlie. Yeah, she works. She, oh, she, she ain't got that. She ain't got that kind of money. Yeah, though. she just. But it all depends. You know, if she can go to the two hundred dollar rack. She won't at the two hundred dollar. Right? Nah, that won't no two hundred dollar dress. I've seen the two hundred dollar. Right? But you know what it looked like though? Say yes to the dress without the white dude present. That's what it looked like. <laughs> That's my show though. <laughs> That's how he know got me having that show. Well, I love that show. So no, Charlie is there with Dollar. And Donna comes out there with this wedding gown on, which was, it was so her. It was very plain, straight line, very much Donna style. Mm -hmm. So she gets up on the pedestal and she asked um, Charlie, you know, what do you think about this dress? And she was like, I really think it's a beautiful dress. And she's telling her, you know what, be brutally honest with me. Do you like the dress or not? And basically they had a moment again about mm -hmm. their parents because Charlie said, listen, my mother is the definition of brutally honest. And I say, Man. you're telling a lie because that would be me. That's me. That's you? That is me all huh. day, every day. So um, she said, yes, my mama is the um, definition of brutally honest. And um, hey, the apple don't fall far from the tree. So let me go ahead and tell you a story real good. With me and um, that old bastard that I, that's now my ex-husband, we were getting married. I had fell in love with the first dress I tried on. I walked out there and my mother talked about that dress. Some kind of terrible told me that it made me look pregnant, da 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 da, da. And she said, at the time, I was, huh. but she was in denial. And all of a sudden, Dollar's face broke all up. Yes, and I so said, I was like, what, what, what? Is you pregnant? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. But then I said, after the, the conversation was done, I don't think it was that. I think it was more of the fact that Dollar's having another moment where there is... I'm trying to tell you, there are pivotal moments in your life where you need your family and you need your mom. You need, you know, you need them to be there. Yeah. And for a girl that's getting married, that is one of the things I'm trying to tell you that you want them at. You want them to help you pick out the dress. You want them at the fitting. You, I mean, that's, I don't know where we got it from, but that's what we want. And Dollar doesn't have any of that. Mm -hmm. And Dollar's at a point in her life now where the things that she's accomplishing so much and I, I'm giving her credit. Lord, yeah, you're giving her credit. She done won you over. She didn't want me over, but oh, I will okay. give her credit. Okay. And she's doing so well. She's accomplishing so many things, but yet she has no one other than Ralph Angel's family to celebrate in that. And that's mm -hmm. a dangerous place to be at when everything that you have and everyone that you have is wrapped up into your significant other. So if that ever goes south, there's a good, a good chance that everybody gonna fall by the wayside because their loyalty is always gonna be with blood. Now you have some people that you know they they can split the loyalty and they can still you know meet in the middle. You ain't dealing with him. They ain't got nothing to do with me. You still my sister-in-law, but it's still a dangerous place to be. Yeah, but I think the good thing was that Charlie told her regardless if they don't show up, they don't be here. 
We got we, you. We got you. And that's that's been so true. It's like even you think about even in, in, in our life how people have stepped up and become aunts and uncles and mm -hmm. second and third, fourth moms in your life to we help you get to where you need to get to. Yeah. <laughs> because at the end of the day, like you said, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. And I think that village still happens even when you, even when you become an adult. You still need people to help you and discipline you and tell you the truth. Yeah. Because when you start thinking that it's all about you and you smelling yourself, that's when you get ready to fall flat on your face. So I think Dollar is in good hands as long as she don't mess with that crack no more because all that's going to change. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we have confirmed that it has been years since Dollar has talked to her family. They do not answer her calls and all of that. Like I said last night, if Dollar was as bad as we think she was or she said she was, then I get it. I yeah, really uh -huh. do get it. Yeah, she made she made she made the bed and unfortunately she got the lay in it. Yeah, and just because yeah. now she's making the bed up with um a nice little comforter doesn't mean that everybody else trusts that the bed is soft. Exactly. Because she probably didn't do that before. Right. We, I think we talked about that last night. You know, you'll make these certain changes to get what you want. And then all of a sudden once you get what you want, you back the same again. <laughs> Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so then we see Ralph Angel, right? Ralph Angel goes over there to the high yellow and he goes to see Unvi. He's looking at Unvi, Unvi looking at him, and he was like, Unvi, why you keep looking at me like that? And I was like, Why yeah, why you keep looking at him like yeah. that? And she <laughs> what said, you want? <laughs> she said, Listen, your father leaving you that land. At at the end of the day, it was a really good thing because I see you blossoming into a great gentleman, a great man. And um, so he went ahead and asked her, he said, are you feeling better? And it kind of messed me up a little bit because when did Ralph Angel ever peep that something was going on with her? Yeah. Unless Hollywood told it. I don't, I don't know. know. Or uh, not unless time has lapsed and she's actually gone and she, I'll get there. So she told him, say, hey, you know, I'm doing really good. I feel good, doing good, smell good, my hair's laid. Everything's good in the hood. So she said, listen, I know how y'all young cats are. Is. You get ready to make this big old step in your life. Mm -hmm. And it seems like y'all doing all right. But there's no harm in getting some outside guidance. Hey, so that hey. when the road gets rough, mm -hmm. you had the tools in the shed to be able to handle what's coming up ahead. That's right. So automatically we looked at Ralph Angel's face. Uh-uh. You won't feel none of that. Counseling ain't a man's thing. Listen, somebody else telling your man, telling a man what to do, that ain't what they want here. But I'm trying to tell you, if you are a humble person and you a person that's open and receptive, it will bless your life if you that's got right. the right counselor. That's right. A counselor Trust that's going to keep it balanced. Keep it balanced. Yes. And I, and I even advise people like I did, like we did. We were individually because I was full of scared. Yeah, we, well, did. we got married. So we did individual and we did individual. We did mm -hmm. joint because I wanted to make sure that I won't bring in my own my skit. Yeah, in the relationship too because and, I I had some mess with me. And I don't know if you, but I was I was doing my personal research on marriage long before I even met you to even learn. I never wanted to get which married. I know a book a book can't teach you how to be married. It always comes with the experience, but you can get some little nuggets that you can learn. That you can bring in and try to, you know, use from the book. But most times you look at a book, somebody's telling you what they did. Yeah, perspective. Yeah, their perspective, and you try it. But what I found out, it's, it, it, you learn, you learn as you go. But I tell you this, and I say this, the men in your family, I don't know what y'all got running through y'all blood, but y'all some god doing good, god doing husbands. I'm trying to tell you, even the ones just full of, and you be like, at the end of the day. His family, them is some men. <laughs> you hear me? Providers, take care of home, keep their women happy. And I ain't talking about all materialistic. I mean, keeping it balanced, whatever. Some that of, was my granddad. Your dad. I mean, yeah. you, you learn from, from good, from, yeah, 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 you learn from, from good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I look at all his uncles and I'm sitting here like, dang, why I couldn't have met none of y'all before y'all got, shut up to that. So that uh, I could, Introduce you to some of my aunts or something like that, so they can have some good men. Shut up, now. But anyway, <laughs> not to say that they women ain't good, but God knows sometimes you just want to be looking out for the people you love too. But you know they've been asking us to do some stuff on marriage and relationship for a long time. We just ain't delivered. Maybe one day, one day, Padre. I'll be honest with you. 
our life is so freaking busy right now. Yeah. That sometimes I be trying to figure out hey, how we do we, what we We've do. talked about it. We've definitely we have, we, we we have. talked about it. But uh, yeah, just, just, just pray for us. Yes, pray, pray, pray for us. That's the word pray, that makes everybody pray, shut up. Yeah, pray that the Lord will open up a door that we can provide that information. Yeah, so <laughs> Rapper AJ ain't feeling counseling, which we knew he wasn't going to be feeling counseling or not. So then we see Rap Angel and Dala go over there to her trailer. And at first I said, well, is she at her parents' trailer trying to make them? Because that took me all the way back to when I tried to get my dad to go ahead and not yeah. going to do it tonight. But um, <laughs> no, it was her trailer. And um, she was in there cleaning out all her stuff. Turned in the key. Turned in the key. Said, hey, you're not going to get this rent at the first of the month. This lot rent. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, about, we, I'm about ready to move on in there with more, more boo. Yeah, because when you live in a trailer, you got lot rent. Yep. Because I used to live in a trailer. Lot rent so plus I rent. And water bill. <laughs> and when they get it, when you, they get it cut off, you just go down in there and turn the turn knob. Turn and turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Ain't no for no lock on it? Uh-uh. Why? You in the trailer, pup. We're going to bust that thing off anyway. They ain't doing nothing but wasting their own money. I mean, your kids are running around with it. Stop it. <laughs> what you call them days? A meter. A meters. Her cousin had a whole god darn meter. What happened was one electricity. Of our, yeah, one of our cousins, not our cousin, but one of our friends, electric. This is long, long, long time ago, Dominion, and I ain't giving you that. Yes, that's your limitations of whip. Yeah, uh, they had cut her lights off. He said, well, "Oh, it ain't no problem. I got that. I got a meter." We were sitting out there saying, "You know what? The current came back on." We was like, "We said, how'd you do that?" He said. I stole a meter from some of my house years ago and I've been holding on to it so my light go off. I, I keep a curtain back on. He done plugged me. He said, we can't keep it on long. We just keep it on for a few hours uh -huh. so they won't pick it up. So every now and then when you need it, I'll go and plug it back up for you. Her cousin. Chante. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you need something done in life, find you a Nigerian, find you a Haitian, and find you a Jamaican. We gonna have everything you need, brother. <laughs> everything you need. <laughs> and if we don't got it, we know somebody that knows somebody. Uh huh. And then if not, we gonna go down to the essays, and they gonna hook you up real fast. See, yep. we take our time. So the connections run deep. Yeah, we take our time, but the essays mm -hmm. they move quick. <laughs> yep. So when I need something done, I get the essay do it. Yep. But a uh, rabbi. So Dollar gets the stuff out the trailer. And they made this stop by the convenience store. Ralph Angel got the gas up to four one fifty. And Dollar goes in there and get a little, get a little beverage and whatnot. And she walks past these dudes, and the dudes was like, "Oh, oh, stop! stop. I remember you." She I said, "Oh, say how much? How much? I pay extra." And I mm -hmm. said, "So, oh, well, it ain't far fetched because usually your addiction leads to this and that because yeah. you gotta feed the addiction. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody giving you no money, so this always provides yep. in one way or the other." So she talking about some. No, 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 you got, you the, got wrong the wrong person. person. This ain't me. He said, I remember that A from anyway. And I uh, said, well, what A? Yeah, because she ain't got none. Ain't nothing back there. <laughs> ain't nothing back there. <laughs> so, Ralph Angel, he peeked it. Now, homeboy, see, see, this is what I can't stand about men sometimes. Y'all so disrespectful. <laughs> like, like B would say. You see her do. You see her walking towards that truck. When you saw her walking towards the truck and she got a dude in the car, you shut your goddamn face unless you wanted to get bashed in. And I was scared that Ralph Angel was going to do something to land him back, back in jail. jail. Yeah, I because said, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not putting money on the books. I promise you, I'm not. I'm not yeah. doing it. Because he don't got away with a whole lot of stuff already. Mm -hmm. Why is the ink on my pants coming to die off my pants? I'm going to my hands turning blue and going to die. <laughs> it's my dad going to jail. I'm scared the hell out of me for a minute. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Yeah, so Ralph Angel peeped it, automatically got in his feelings. And this is what I'm going to say about Ralph Angel. And I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to leave it alone. I'm going to bring it up every time it's, it's appropriate. I'm sick of him acting like a little B. <laughs> every time something don't go his way, he it's sits there and pouts and acts like a little kid. You a grown man that's trying to marry somebody. You don't got this girl to moved up out of her trailer, and now you gonna um, treat her like you don't know who she was before you proposed to her. Yeah, you know you she had know. that past. Now she fucked up when she didn't tell him the truth in the truck. Yeah, she should have just, just, just told, told him. Said, yeah, this was a guy that knew me when I was star, when I was selling and tricking. So he thought that he still can get it, but I told him that ain't what I do no more. So that's that. Yeah. But and she 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 told him I, I don't know who that was. Yeah. So. This carried on over into the house. 
they get to the house, Blue trying to play with his parents. And even Blue picked up on it. Do do, do we really mean ever after? Is it really gonna be ever? Because he's also yeah. he picking it up. He playing with an imposter. <laughs> imposter Kenya, y'all. I see that. That's the reason that me and Dollar we never gonna be here. I would give her her props, but she she murdered. Kenya and then they try to replace her with an imposter. She ain't never gonna get nothing from me. Not from that. Mm -mm. She she messed up. See, I can hold a grudge. I and? sure can. Winch. So um Rap Angela eventually no, Dollar actually had to pull it out of him. She said, Listen, this is the first Every night that I've been in this house and you gonna treat me like I you don't even want to talk to me. Yeah, like I'm a stranger. He said, Well, what's going on with you? And she went on and told him. And she said, what you're not going to do is judge me for my past. Mm -hmm. And he was like, so you was out there hoeing? Doing what you had to do, spreading your legs open? Just so you can f feed your addiction because you were crackhead? And she said, that ain't no better than you stealing mm -hmm. credit cards and robbing stores. He said, well, I did it to feed my family, um, to feed Blue, the baby that you left behind. Which still was dumb. It's still wrong, two wrongs yeah, don't, don't make, make a right. right. Just because you stealing to feed your kid is still stealing, player. You could have got locked up for longer than you did for stealing. At least she used her own resources to get what yeah, she wanted. She, yeah, she used her own stuff. I said, oh, God. So at this point, Dollar said, you know what? I'm going to sleep on the sofa. And if this is the way you want to treat me, then this marriage is over. Well, I because, marry you. And I said, thank you for having standards and not settling for the um the guilt trip. But I will say, Dolly, you were wrong. You should have went on to him like my husband said. Yeah. And that's what that's why I I told him say you need to get counseling. That's the reason right there. Cause that could be dealt with in counseling. Cause she found a bald up piece of paper. Yep. And he told me, I don't need this. But he did say something that piqued my interest, and it was very true. Mm -hmm. He said, Why am I gonna go get advice from a from a priest that ain't never been married himself? That's trying true. to tell me yeah. something about something he ain't never been through. Yeah, because he only telling you about something he been he done read in the book. I said, Nah, you need to experience. That's yeah. why I say you better mm -hmm. go to somebody, you better look them up. Yeah. And you better trust them and build a report with them first. You know what I mean? Before you start blah 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 blah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's gonna continue to happen. Because she's oh, yeah. gonna yeah, she's gonna see people from her past. It's gonna be a while. Mm -hmm. And them first two <laughs> you yeah. remember you remember when you made me sell my car? <laughs> yeah. Cause of my past. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all. See. I had a nice I didn't with. make I didn't You make, didn't make me, but you highly suggested that I, I do did. so. And you you had quite a few miles on it, too. That's a lie. <laughs> Don't, do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what had happened was I had this nice old whip right and I had this whip all the way through from when I yeah when I was dating when I was engaged and everything and I had personalized plates I had the windows was tinted and everything so when we got together and we got engaged and stuff <laughs> I think we were even married when we still yeah yeah we were married yeah we were married when we got there got the so ultimate. so Stanley started driving the car and people was rolling up on him <laughs> Thought, yeah, yeah. So guys was rolling up to the window. Yo, dude, what's up? And Stan was like, we can rid of this guy, Degar, <laughs> because we're not going to. I'm not going to be in the windows and people keep rolling up on me, talking about so. Oh man, I'm sorry, my bad. I thought it was her. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you just got to go in with a clean slate. Maybe they just need to move to another house, get some. Never mind. Yeah, you know that's you know that's always good advice to say always. It, I always say that if, start if, over. Yeah, if you're in a relationship, he got a house, you got a house. Most time they want to combine. They say really sell both houses and get one new house. Cause an argument come up and you in their house, be like you, <laughs> Negro, you in my house. Get your way out. Or go in the basement. <laughs> uh huh. So then we see Unva. Unva gets a visitor to the high yellow, and the guy asks for her, and she Unva black. Oh, yeah. He asked for, is there Mrs. Bordelon here? Who's asking? Who want to know? And which, what do you want with her? Well, I heard that somebody made the best um, cherry pie around. Not too tart, not too sweet. Duh. She said, oh, that me. That'll be me. He said, well, listen. I own, I, did he say Ralph's or something? Some grocery store. He said, I Littles. got a grocery, show, <laughs> grocery store <laughs> chain. And said, listen, let me go ahead and cut to the chase. It's the best pie I ever had in my life. And I want them pies in my store. 300 of them a week. He said, I got a contract right here. These are these are the figures right here. And hey, it even has a $50,000 advance, advance 
on it. God don't think. But I like what, you know, she, she ain't one of them people that just leap when they say, oh, $50, let me sign mm -hmm. on dollar. Mm -hmm. She walked with that contract. Yep. And I said, thank you. Yep. Get somebody to look at it for you. Uh-huh. Get them to comb it over real good. Yeah. Because they, yeah, they'll come in and swoop in and take all your pies. You be making pies and don't make a nine. So then she goes home. She goes to pick up the contract again to look it over one more time. And that's when we realize the unvi ain't all right. Yeah, she couldn't but even see. She got double vision, no vision. And then when she stood up, she almost had a blackout. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, what's really going on with Aunt Vi? I was hoping that we were going to find out this episode, but I guess they yeah, gonna let that Yeah, because they left us yesterday with yeah. her sitting on the doctor's table. Yeah. And I said, well, I don't know if it was a GYN appointment because the gown was open to the back. I don't know what the mm -hmm. hell's going on. But I know one thing. You can't touch Aunt Vi, Hollywood, or Blue. I'm trying. And Micah yeah. too, because Micah don't been through a lot. Yeah, he you don't, can't yeah, touch he don't Micah no yeah. more either. So then we over there at the loft. <sighs> Charlie's mom. Charlie is still over there. She 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 going through it. But Charlie is really concerned about a whole lot of things. Her son, and now the mill. She wants yeah. to know. She's worried about the future of Queen Sugar Mill now that she does not have the farm as leverage mm -hmm. to basically. Yeah, if her brother gets pissed off, he's going to act like a bee again. And yeah. then it's going to go all downhill from there. Exactly. So she's talking to her mom about she doesn't know what the future of it's going to be. Mama said, you know what, give me a few hours. I, 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 I got, got this. this for, yeah. I said, what you about to do? You don't know nothing about this. So mama goes down there, starts looking through the um, contracts and all the stuff that she's got going on and whatnot. And then we see Unvi. Now we had already learned. The unvi had ran the woman out of town and said, don't you come your house. Don't you ever come back. No more. One thing I can say about Charlie Mama, Charlie Mama ain't on pump. Because mm -mm. unvi rolled up on her and said, didn't I tell you don't you ever bring your tail here? And she said, mm, that was before my daughter and my grandson moved down here. So now that they're here, I'm here too. I said, well, she you said do yes. have a point. She said, you could have took plane tickets and flew, got plane tickets and flew them where you are. Yeah. And she said, well, now that they're here, I'm going to be here and I'm here now. And I'm helping my daughter out with some things. And this would trip me out before that even happened. <laughs> Charlie mama had let um Charlie know in so many words. Yeah, I believe your daddy did some mess like that. He gave y'all gave all the land and, st and the farm and stuff to your brother. He changed his mind a lot. Mm -hmm. I said, shady. <laughs> <laughs> so um after um Charlie's mama went through all the paperwork and all that stuff, she saw where there was a potential for more money to come into the, and come into play. Mm -hmm. So she approached Charlie with it. She told Charlie, she said, listen, I see here that you only, um, you only have people that's in the mill that have like a thousand acres or oh, under. Yes. Yeah. So what is that all about? Charlie told her, said, well, basically all of my farmers are black farmers mm -hmm. and they that's are the all. ones that took a chance on me because nobody else would take a chance on me. So then Charlie's mama goes into, I'm a white woman and I don't understand. Because that's what they had a conversation about on last, last night. night. Yeah, she don't. Understand. She don't understand, and she was like, "So you're gonna take their no as your final yes? You need to be persistent and go ahead and make them want to come over here and meal with you. Don't keep taking no for an answer." And what Charlie was trying to tell her is, "Mama, it is so different for us yes. than it is for y'all. It's easy for y'all to say." You know, you should, you should, so this you will happen. Break, you know, break them. Do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you got people that is rooted in this. Because she said, this they is don't years. Pick, this is years of this mess. Yeah. And they're not going to do it. So then Charlie had to break her mama down and said, well, now that we still, we talking about this whole sugar mill and all this stuff. I went to the, um, what was it called? The, um, the crystal. Sugar crystal, crystal. society. Yeah. The day. And she said. I went to that meeting and I was basically invisible. So was I, so was the secretary, and so was the maid. And all of us were black. I went to that society and they basically treated me like I was garbage. And I was yep. not Even there. Even secretary. And said, um, she was the worst one. She should have snatched that heifer right on up. No, wasn't the secretary the black lady? No. Well, who no. was the black lady? I don't know. The black lady left after they get ready to start the meeting. So I don't, oh, know. Okay. I don't know who she was. So this, um, she was telling them, say, you know, I was trying to give ideas and feedback. They weren't hearing anything I had to say. I even brought up Kiki's name because she brought up Kiki's name mm -hmm. as being um being nominated to be Queen Sugar, Crystal Sugar, somebody Queen. Yeah. For this harvest thing that they do every year. The lady basically looked at her and said, 
Mm mm. Kiki will. Mm mm. We don't. We, we. She doesn't fit. She didn't fit. She didn't qualify for that. She black. Say this is your first time coming to the meeting, so you just need to be quiet and listen. It's like. So right then and there, Charlie was like, okay. She know what kind of game she was I playing. I know what we. I know what we got going on right here. So then we see um Nova. Nova's having um. Nova's doing what Nova do. I ain't gotta keep explaining. She always doing something in the community with the guns blazing. I'm like, girl, look at this. Boy, she I just trying to get my I just tried to get mine trimmed. She is cut, I don't boy. want to cut. I just want to trim. I said, God doing Nova. Show them what you're working with. Uh -huh. She lifting up God doing uh -huh. all with some crates. Crates, yeah, man. Come on. And so no she, things is heavy. They are heavy. They heavy. So she's out there doing that. Dr. Dubois, he right out there with her doing his thing. And then Michael and Kiki shows up. Now, come to find out that Kiki is a real big fan of Nova's. Mm -hmm. And, oh, um, Michael didn't even know that. And at first I thought she was just playing the, I'm a suck up to the aunt oh, getting yeah, like, good nah. with the um, family thing. But no, she really is. She's that girl. And she told Nova, you know, I really like your work. Da -da -da. What can we do? And basically they went out there and helped out whatever the initiative was. Afterwards, Michael took her back to the, to the penthouse. He said we he said we he said my dad is gone for the weekend. We have we here all by ourselves. I said, didn't he say well, that one time before? Uh, uh, what you what you want there? She said, Well I'm so tired I need to go take a shower. Well, he can said, we take a shower together? She said, Oh, I'm not that kind of girl. She said, I don't know who you used to date. Yeah. But that ain't what we do. And she said, Let me go ahead and tell you something real good off the top. I said, Tell him Kiki. She said, I'm a virgin. And I plan on staying that way until I'm in love. She said, Listen. Nothing to take from you. I really like you and all that we're growing to get to know each other, but I don't love you. So that right there, Michael had to be like, oh. I, I had to be like, oh, because I, I really did judge her. I, I, I judged her. I thought I thought it was a sealed deal. I, I really did. But you can't knock a player for trying, though. No, he tried. He yeah. tried. See, look, see, and see. got intrigued, too. Yeah, see, so the thing about it, see, if he got in the shower, he already made it to third base. Yeah, without effort, by without default. Effort, yep. Soon the clothes come off, that's third base right there. Yeah, uh -huh. I said, well, but, you that young, you still got the shape. <laughs> yeah, he ain't even making past home plate. Nah. <laughs> he struck out on that one. So Michael said, you know what, my bad. I apologize. He said, you know what, after that, you know, take you home? do you want me? And she said, you know what, I want to stay here with you, and I want to get to know you a little bit better. Though. And I said, oh, maybe this taking it slow ain't going to be as yeah, slow maybe, as we yeah, thought. Uh -huh. She teaching Michael how to braid a hair. I mm -hmm. said, Come on, Holy hand. come on, said, black girl. I said, uh huh. I said, you moving up. I said, you made it to second base. You just, I yeah. thought, I thought he, she was gonna be like, you know what? Get that comb right there and scratch my scalp, baby. Uh -huh. That's that's how you really get down into nah, it. Nah, she wasn't gonna do that because she had her hair kind of dead. She, she had the front was dead, the yeah, back was loose. Know, yeah, so, so then um, mixing up the conversation a little bit more. Charlie was so done with this meeting that she had with the society. When Michael came home, Michael was telling um telling Mama, say, you know what? That Kiki, I'm trying to tell you. Who? I, I, ain't said, I never met no girl like this. He was like, she's this. Hey, she's that. I feel you. That's I feel this. you, dog. <laughs> That's that. the same way I was when I met Lynette right here. I felt I'm the same way. I ain't never in my life met a woman like this. But you know what's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Be a stylish daddy and click just like this mm -hmm. right off the bat. He said, man, I like her, man. He said, she just as crazy as I am. I said, yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I, I could never understand when people say when you find the one, you will, you will know it. Yeah. That is so true. That is true. You will know. But it can be the one and you can buck it up. You almost did. Yeah. Everybody almost buck it up. Yeah. But I fixed it up though. You did. So you can buck up, but you gotta fix it up. And fix it quick. <laughs> I gotta clean up. What I messed up started what I messed like all up. over again. So when um Micah's talking to his mama about Kiki, I mean he's so infatuated, he's mm -hmm. in awe. And he I mean he's selling it. She like she said, have you? He said, nah, 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 nah we taking like it that. slow. Take like, no, not you player. She <laughs> taking it slow. And Charles said, you know what, speaking of Kiki, I talked about her today in the meeting that I went to. And he said, oh yeah, for real, what's going on? He said, she, um, you know, put herself in to be the, um, the sugar queen thing, whatever. And he said, oh yeah, she does that every year, even though she know that they're going to turn her down every year. That's her being persistent. That's what she do, because she said at some point that maybe she'll get her opportunity. Charles said, you know what, she will. 
because this year, Queen Sugar Mill will do their own, own harvest. harvest fest for yep. the black community. I say you better roll with it and do it. Huh. She said, you know what? Basically, after she had a talk with her, no, I mean, um, Aunt Vi, because Charlie went over there and talked to Aunt Vi and said, listen, I'm sorry. I meant, I meant to tell you that my mama was here, but I was trying to hold off because <laughs> I was hoping that she would leave before you realized she was here. And um, I'm sorry. You know, I know she don't came through and she was telling me a whole bunch of stuff that I should do differently with the um with the meal, include some white people, do this, do that. Um, I basically told her, said, honey, you ain't never been the kind of person that let somebody tell you what to do. No, uh-huh. You've always made your own decisions. So she said, Well, you gonna stop doing that now. Whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to do, you go ahead and do it your way. This is your meal. You do mm -hmm. what you need to do. And she said, Well, why you stop by? She said, Well, honey, I'm about to put my pies in the grocery store. And I, I need your help. I need you to look over this contract with me. She was huh? like, what? for real? Yeah. But, but oh, I got I a mean, question. I was say, I got a question for you. What? You think um you think um Charlie gonna try to cross over and try to get some white folk in? Not right now. I no. think she might do it later on. But I think now she needs to get her foundation real solid with she, the black community. That's why I greatly said she need to get it to the point where they're gonna need her. Right. Yeah, so like like her mama said, you need to be focused on the green. I disagree. Mm -hmm. At this point, yeah, you want to be focused on the green, but you got to focus on making these other people that's with you successful. Yeah. Which means they may have to work just a little bit harder. I, was, I mean, that ain't nothing we ain't yeah, used to. Yeah, work a little bit. You know, you know, we work hard, but, you know, time that by 10 yeah. so we can succeed, all of us. Yeah, because what it's going to have to do is you're going to have to prove to them that yeah. Queen Sugar Mill is the place to, to grind So they're going to have to out, they're gonna have to outwork the Landry's. Yeah, and then they're going to have to go through Remy because they're going to want to have a sugar cane if they ain't stealing it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they already tried that. Yep. I mean, so, yeah, I think she needs to really just stay, like um, I said, stay with your core. Yep. Build that, make it solid. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, build some... Um, some trust with them because a whole lot of them is kind of on shaky ground too with her. Yeah, they still on shaky you know? ground. Yeah, so she just had a meeting, meeting two weeks ago. Be like, hey, y y you know, you standing in here for the long haul? Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Huh. So yeah, this would be yeah. So hope so, she don't try to make that, make that move. True that. Oh lord, I almost forgot this part. Noba and Doctor Dubois. Huh? And I won't talk about it because this guy doing relevant. I can't talk tonight. To my life, they were having this conversation, and basically they were having a conversation about life and where they saw themselves and how they fit into this thing called the world <laughs> and what their true calling is and whatnot. Da 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 da. And Nova was like, basically, I'm out here fighting for black people. I'm out here fighting for these kids. I'm out here doing this, and now I'm over here with the Zika thing. And me having children is something that I felt like I should, I, I can't do because I feel like it would take me away from my life work. Mm -hmm. and, and then she was like, you know, even look at my nephew. I couldn't protect him. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to have kids and I can't protect them. And yeah. I said, that thing hit me like a ton of bricks because I feel like that. That's why, that's one of the reasons, one out of many that I would never have kids is because one, I feel like in this world that we have right now, I can't do nothing for it. I cannot protect them from this. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that I can do as a parent that will yeah. protect them. The only thing I can do is teach them. But when they leave these doors, they I don't. Own, they pretty much on their own. They are on their own. And yeah. life is so, life was jacked up when I made this decision. And I knew it was only going to get worse. And then I always knew that my life calling was, basically I'm a free spirit, put it this way. Um, but I am one that I can't be tied down to a lot of things things if you know what I mean like even being in Virginia that's not gonna be but for so long I'm here for a purpose right now mm -hmm. and that purpose right now is taking care of my mom making sure that everything is you know solid with that making sure that my husband's family is taken care of and all that good stuff but once it gets to a point where that is no I'm not gonna be here because I know so that gone. there's something else for me to do yeah and I can't the world. yeah and I can't I know that my life work is not never mind don't worry about it <laughs> but basically they were saying that for so long they felt like they were being judged by everybody like yeah. people would tell them you know you need to have this you were made into this world or to bring yeah. children into this world bring life life more abundantly and they were like you know as much as I respect the people that say that and I know they're coming from a good place I know what my work is yeah. I know what I should be doing and da 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 so 
Yeah, you can't instill. Yeah, because he was saying, my, I feel like my, my life purpose is more important than, yeah. than, than that. Because your life will stop at yeah. some point to be a parent. That's the, that is primary over everything. So anything else that I would do, y'all wouldn't be sitting in front of this camera if I had children. I'll tell you that. I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't because. And what we was previously doing too. Yeah. They was being, they was pushed by, it was no way. It's no way that we could do it. Yeah, it would have. It would take, over, it would take yeah. over your life. Yeah, and I'm the kind life. of person, I'm all in. I'm all in. If I'm a parent, I am a freaking But I can <laughs> say that God has graced us to have children in our life, you know. Oh, yeah. That we've taken care of, but, you know, we at the end of the day, we give them back. Yeah, we have you two God. We rent them and then we give them back. Yes. <laughs> we, got a, we got a slew of nieces and nephews, y'all. Uh-huh. I don't think they ain't seen the babies. They, they over on our blog channel, though. Mm -hmm. And yeah, my brother, they're a whole lot more grown now. But and my yeah, brother has, town. yeah, my brother had a baby um, last year, so mm -hmm. I have a niece in Hawaii. Um, yeah, we Stanley's oldest nephew is twenty five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's yeah. Y'all help us out. <laughs> Give us some money or something. <laughs> but we're going bad straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.